Hey y'all, my name's Chase Assey and today we're going to be talking about a Model 66 with a 430 gallon stainless steel tank. So we have a number of ball valves on this particular sprayer. Uh, if you start at the beginning uh, with this ball valve open, you can pump on from this ball valve through the suction line and back into the bottom of the tank down here with this ball valve. So if you shut off this one all your flow will go straight back through and you can fill the tank there we have stainless steel fittings on this tank because in the state this sprayer is going to that is law that every cutoff has to have a stainless steel fitting so once you filled your tank you want to open this back up to start your suction process and close your fill valve here this suction line is coming from the tank. Once your motor is turned on, you can begin to fill chemical into your chemical inductor here. It has a one-way check valve in the bottom underneath right here, this big thing. There's a one-way check valve there. So it can only suck. It can't fill this back up with water. You would open this ball valve up and your water will begin, your chemical in the inductor will begin to suck in and mix with the water in the tank through the sparger tube. Once you've filled your tank, you're gonna have your suction ball valve on right here. It's gonna come into the pump and go out the pressure side. At the pressure side, we have a cross. A lot of your water is gonna go back and go into your sparger tube for agitation uh, the remaining water is going to go up through this hose and into your valve. It's really important that when you're loading chemical in the chemical inductor that you have this valve off. Otherwise, all your chemical is going to go straight to your valves and fill up your valve hose. And as soon as you turn your, your valves on, all the chemicals are going to be right out on the ground and you're not going to have anything but water in your tank. So you always want to have that one in the closed position when you're filling chemical. If you have this closed and you close off your sparger tube ball valve right here, this ball valve is so you can pump all the remaining chemical or water or whatever you have in your tank back off into a uh, one of our models 56, 1025s, or 1635s um, for chemical storage or water storage. Uh, this sprayer is ran by a Honda gas motor and a High Pro 1550 SP pump. It's a centrifugal pump, and centrifugal pumps are not positive displacement. So that means when it gets to a certain pressure, it just stops pumping, and then when it needs more pressure it starts pumping again so you don't have to worry about this pump blowing up or busting any of your lines because it stops pumping at a certain pressure leave the pump we come in here uh, with a one inch line it's a high pressure line um, into a strainer this one strainer right here takes the place of having to have an individual strainer in every single one of your tips and now you just have one strainer to check and clean. After that, you come into a regulating valve that just it just controls how much flow is cutting over to the three-way uh, T-Jet 433 valves. These valves are metered, and what that means is that if you cut off one section of the boom, you can adjust the meter up here so that you're uh, pressure always stays constant and when you're adjusting these you always adjust the section that you have off and we have a whole video about those online this is a controller for this sprayer it's a 744a controller uh, it has three section control a master switch and a pressure adjustment and it has this pressure gauge on there we don't recommend using the one that's mounted on the console because if the line broke in the back, you could get whatever's in your tank that you're spraying inside the cab, and that's just nobody wants that. 
Um, this will be mounted on the inside of the cab so that you can you know, quickly and easily turn your valves on and off. Um, the customer wanted us to make them an adjustable pressure gauge so that when they're not using the sprayer or they're driving down the road, they can store it in and it'll be protected by the cab of the truck. But when they're spraying, they can slide it all the way out to there. And now they'll be able to see it in their rear view mirror while they're driving. So they know if they have any nozzles clogged up or anything like that, they'll see a pressure spike here instead of having the pressure gauge on the back of the sprayer where the valve is. And we made this special uh, bolt for them there so it's easy to screw in and out. This is a dual check valve uh, vent system that we came up with for this sprayer. Um, they're not making vented lids for these tanks anymore so we had to come up with something up here. Um, on the left side we have a black two inch hose. If you overfill the tank this check valve here lets the water come down and go out of the back of the sprayer uh, and onto the ground instead of getting all over the back of your truck. And this spray, this one here is a check valve that lets all the air out when you're filling it so that you can't suck this tank flat uh, since there's not a vented lid. Right here you have a sight gauge so that you can easily see where your tank level is while you're filling or you can see how, how soon you're going to have to refill after you get done spraying. This customer wanted to use Agco nozzles because he has a self-propelled sprayer by them already, so he only wanted to stock one part. So we came up with a solution for that. Uh, we made stainless steel brackets that bolt onto our existing tripod boom with stainless steel U-bolts. Uh, and then these brackets are made by Agco and they just, uh, we bought this pipe to fit around there. He also wanted 800 PSI hose. Normally we don't use this blue hose, but that's what he wanted. So, you know, like I said, in the custom equipment industry, this is, you know, kind of things that you get. Uh, with nine, he wanted each section to have nine nozzles. But, so we end up with this because of road width and the legal width that the sprayer can be. We have five nozzles in the center and then two nozzles on each outside boom uh, because he wanted each section to be the same amount of nozzles. We have uh, manual boom arms on this one because the customer opted out of having a uh, hydraulic arm to let the booms in and out. We're putting this rod in uh, to keep it from coming back out during transportation. So right here, uh, the customer wanted the boom height to be able to go from 16 inches and then have a 36 inch travel. So it's 16 to 54 inches off the ground after they get it in the back of their truck. So the quickest thing we could do for them was we made them a winch uh, pulley system. So we come out of the winch and we have a small pulley here. We come up to the top, down to the boom back, and then back up again and that cuts our load in half because of the way that pulleys work. So this winch is really special in that um, it has a brake. It's a, uh, a disc right here in between and it's made out of cork. So when you crank it up, this tightens onto each other and so it locks itself in place and even coming back down you can control how it comes how fast it comes back down instead of it just free spooling back down and breaking your arm so you can see how easy it is once you get your sprayer to the desired height 
we've added a whole bunch of holes all the way down in the frame and then you put your uh, stainless steel pins in slide them right in there and then you can wet it back down on top of them so it can't go up or down after that this sprayer is very versatile it was designed to go in the back of a long bed pickup truck so they can still utilize the truck for other things uh, but spray when they need to visit our website newtoncrouch.com for equipment specifications and technical tips. Give us a call at 800-241-1350. Our sales representatives will be glad to discuss your specific needs. They can help you select the options and the equipment type that will give you the best value for your investment. When you call NCI, you will always speak with a person who will make sure your questions are answered. Proudly made in America, a family-owned business since 1940, Newton Crouch.